Ah, uh, hello once again guys. Um, I'm back for um, Farming Simulator 17 on PS4 and we're now doing A Day on the Farm Episode 3. Um, I just did Episode 2 um, as I wanted to kind of catch up and do a few more on that series that I do quite enjoy doing. So um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just uh, go ahead and continue working here. Uh, as you can see right now, I do have the BioBelt truck with a container on the back, and it does contain wood chips. So we are going to go ahead and take that down to the Stanton Sawmill. Whoa, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. Oh, my Lord. Hello. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry about that. Whoa. Yeah. That was not planned. Um, <laughs> I realizing t I was taking the corner a little bit too fast there. Um, the thing that scares me about this truck um, is having that big container on the back full of you know whatever you have in it at the time. As you'll notice, taking corners at certain speeds tends to make the truck a little, eh, well, not the most trustworthy thing on wheels. So. <laughs> and yes, I have tipped it over. Just for any of you that were wondering if I have, it's like, yes, I have tipped it over. But thankfully, when you have another machine around, such as a loader, you can just tip it right back on its wheel, so it's not really a problem. And as far as this game goes, when you tip it over and it has something in it, the material does not fall out of it. So at least there's that. So <laughs> um, I guess that's a good thing. Of course, you know, even if it did fall out, you just have to take a loader and load it back into the truck, which isn't hard by any means, it's just time consuming, but I'm gonna go ahead and where is Oh, it's back there, okay. As I say, where is the wood chip pile? The wood chip pile at? There we go. Yes, I know. Thank you very much. Oh, and as you guys can see here, I do believe this is the wood drop-off point as far as um, um, as far as, what in the hell? As far as why is my truck? What in the hell did the truck just? Okay, yeah, this is the wood selling point then, because I was confused, because the other one I showed you guys, um, it had one of these, it had this conveyor on there, but it had the sides on it, or the walls, I should say, and that was the selling point, so I was just kind of confused. I thought maybe that was the same for this particular map, which is uh, called Goldcrest Valley, but apparently it's not, so more or less all I have to do here is just get a tipping trailer, which I showed you guys in one of my other videos and just tip them off and they'll fall on there and be sold and that'll be that. Um, let's see, what do we have here? We do have, oh yeah, we do have potatoes. Um, I do wanna go ahead, and obviously I'm not gonna harvest them at this second, but I do wanna, da, 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 oop, wrong one. Let's see, potato harvesting. And speaking of weird machines, weird looking machines, these definitely take the cake. So let's take one of those. Sugar beet harvester. <laughs> yeah, you get a sense of, you get a sense of how many vehicles I actually have on this farm. <laughs> and obviously this thing's gonna be too dang slow and I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna park it here for right now. 
because I'm not going to waste the whole video trying to drive it down there when this thing is only going about 15 mile an hour because it'll take forever. Um, we'll just park it there for now. Oh yeah, and an update on the, uh, the very odd situation here I have with the semi pulling the cultivator. Obviously, apparently it's working, so I'm just going to move this out of the way for a minute. Go on down here because the one of the other trucks is in the way and that's my fault actually I wasn't thinking that that thing that this would actually work in any way whatsoever so I didn't think about moving it and I can almost guarantee right as I move this they'll get to the end of that spot right there and think oh my job's done let's see am I right Oh, look at that. They have completed their task. No, you have not. Get your butt back in that truck. Or in this case, I'm doing this, turning it around because they can't do it worth a crap. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little bit frustrated here, but like I said, these, the workers that you hire, they're not, it's not like on the PC where you can, you can hire workers and obviously I've seen people, what, how people can play it on PC as I don't have it on PC, but they can hire workers and use GPS for it and they can map out you know the whole the whole field that they want them to actually go through as far as consoles like I'm playing it you cannot do that so um, yeah you pretty much just kinda left with you know a field like this is fine cuz the crap a field like this is fine cuz they'll just go well and see right there you can see they miss a spot a field like this is fine as long as there's nothing around the field they'll go back and forth and just do what they need to do problem with that is well like oh, I get this you gonna get around yeah she'll get around okay um, problem the only problem that I've really had with it is if you do fields like well if you do fields like this one here it's like you can see it's Well, you can see it back there where the big bud's sitting. It's like it only goes in straight lines. If it curves out or anything like that, it the, the helpers don't understand that. And then part of that you have to do yourself because they don't understand how to. Basically, it's not set up to where they'll follow that. They only go back and forth in a straight line. So as long as it feels like that, you're fine. But um, yeah, but it just it's frustrating though. and see like here they a lot of times they don't even finish the the end of the row there it's like really um, huh. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that just for a minute and get out of here and as you can see more of my crops are coming in again as you can see yeah, I took a couple of those uh, new modified sheds and put those in because I just thought it you know as far as the old ones they're fine but I just like the look of these new ones better because you can kind of customize them a little bit and I do that's something I do appreciate so <laughs> and my little utility tractor here which I call it which more or less just has a, uh, a dozer blade on it and then the tree and the stump cutter on the back of it for you know If anything, this thing's more of like a Oop, wrong one. Cut that, got that ready, and take care of. Okay, and he is done planting wheat, so we'll go ahead and put this away. And I think that'll be it for this video. I mean, I realize I didn't, I realize I didn't do too much other than kind of talk and just kind of see where my machines and my helpers were at that point. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off here and uh, more or less just say have a good night, guys. As you know, it's it's late at night when I'm recording this, and I'll have it uploaded within the next few days or so. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And my other one that I did. 
Um, I will see you guys again next time on episode 4, whenever that is. And like I said, hopefully when those new mods come out by Black Sheep Modding, um, we will have a lot more to talk about and a lot more to demonstrate. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.